Um, and hello to everyone. It's, uh, it's, I'm very pleased to be able to uh, present on behalf of a number of partners on the work that we have initiated on community engagement for the, for the GTFCC. I think um, I'm really building on something that, that Philippe said, uh, expressed very eloquently yesterday in his opening remarks. Uh, and that is that for, for the roadmap to succeed, communities must be at the heart of what we are doing. And uh, what I'll be presenting is, is the beginning of work that we have, um, that we're doing and that we will be expanding on over the next uh, year and beyond. Uh, and I, I think as well, it, 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 I find it quite telling that I think every working group has mentioned the importance of working with this group of community engagement partners uh, as we advance over the next year. So it's, I'm very pleased to be able to present. I, I do think that one thing we need to, uh, to, to begin with, to begin at the beginning, uh, and that is to ensure that we all have a common understanding of what is community engagement. And uh, although that seems like a very simple thing, uh, when I speak to different people uh, from different backgrounds about the fact that I will be, be supporting the work of partners doing community engagement, the replies that we get are very different and they're very different expectations. So we, we sort of need to, to set that. And uh, it does not mean that every activity that is carried out in the community is under the responsibility of community engagement. That is not community engagement, nor does it mean putting posters up uh, saying that you should come here. We need to go uh, beyond that. It's really about real engagement and accountability. So I, I admit that I'm quite new to this field and I've been learning a lot from the partners who are also engaging. And uh, there's, uh, I've probably already evolved in the way I, I think about this. Uh, and hopefully that's what we'll be able to do as uh, with the whole GTFC partnership as, as we go forward. And for community engagement, it means that the community is really at the heart of what we're doing, that they're engaged in the process of developing uh, programs, that, they're, that their needs and their capabilities are taken into, an, into account, that there is an accountability to the community to be able to move forward, that there is feedback. Uh, it, it's a very interactive process really with the community at the heart of it. And I think it's something that in some ways is done well, and in some ways we still have a lot to do to ensure that this is really moving up. I think this is also particularly relevant in terms that cholera had frequently been seen as an emergency uh, and what and how you can in, in communities engage is a little bit different in an emergency than it is when you're working on development where what you're looking for is a very sustained change and that must come from within for the long, for the long run. So as uh, has already been mentioned, um, we don't have a past to build on, but we have already, uh, a, a number of partners have come together and we've, we've set about some priorities to, to work on over the year to come. I think one thing I do want to say and that I have been uh, really impressed with is that the community engagement partners already work together that they already build uh, guidelines and develop tools together. So you see things that are published, not by one partner, but by multiple partners. And the objective is not to build new things, but to build on what is already there, potentially to extract things, to simplify them in, in language and that will fit our own programming, that there is consistency. And I think Isa mentioned this in her presentation on case management, in the community, there isn't one person for WASH and one person for COVID and one person for nutrition and one person for cholera. That is probably only one person. So the more consistent we are between not only our own pillars, but also within other programs, uh, the more embedded we are, the more successful we're going to be. And I think that's something that I see that this is already the way that these, this, uh, these partners work. And it's, it's, really, it, it's, it's really exciting to be fair. Um, so we're going to be looking at some of these tools, doing the analysis and identifying if there are gaps or are there different ways that we want to present the material. That's one thing. Um, and ensuring that people have access to that information uh, all, over, all over the world. Um, and I, again, I think we are looking, as was said, um, 
by almost every working group who's already presented, we're going to be working with each of the working groups. So there, somebody referred, somebody has referred to a community engagement as the other underpinnings of the of the GTFCC. Somebody others have referred to it as the the Uber group. Uh, it doesn't matter what the name is, but I think it's really important that it will be. A, a coordinating force and, and, a, and we'll have um, interaction with each one of the groups because as we said, community engagement has to be at the heart of everything that we will be doing. Um, so I think one of these things, and this was that came from partners is developing some kind of very basic tools for the beginning of programs. We, whether it's called a checklist, whether it's called a, a questionnaire to ensure that right from the outset that, that um, that we're moving in the right direction. And again, this will be building on work that has already been done by other partners. In some ways, this is a very exciting time to be accelerating this work within the GTFCC because a lot of work has been done uh, over the last year and a half because of COVID-19. And uh, even things like the RCCE Collective, the Risk Communication and Community Engagement Collective, which was, which was initiated for COVID, they're now looking to expand and we're gonna be able to use those resources and that experience to be able to improve our own work. Uh, in, with all that and, and working with those partners, we hope also to identify any research gaps and, uh, and also to become an official working group. So uh, that, um, that is also a, an objective for us. Um, and as I said, this is something that we, we're in, it's not an official working group yet, but work has started. Partners are, we have had an, a first meeting, and this is a list of partners who, um, it's already a pretty good list of partners, including some collectives and uh, some of the really the, the key and uh, leaders in the field who uh, we will be working with together over the next years uh, to try and improve this role and ensuring that the community is really at the heart of all of our cholera control programs and the roadmap as we move forward. Thank you very much.